What does it mean to say that research can be or is colonial? The meaning of this might seem obvious to a lot of us, and I think to a lot of people it's absolutely not obvious, actually. Um, and so today I really just wanted to um, draw inspiration from the amazing work that SERS has been doing around decolonising higher education, but also UCL in terms of liberating the curriculum, and Oxford University and Cambridge and so on. I pointed to the fact that we need to think beyond what are just so deeply embedded understandings of knowledge and what knowledge is and how knowledge is produced. Next year I am one of those people, I'm going to be distributing around £100 million of research funding. I'm directly responsible. So, okay, I'm the sort of person when you say funder, right? <laughs> that might be me, right? Before you get too carried away with it. We think it's important to look beyond um, issues of decolonisation to inequalities within countries in the global south. To deliver excellent research in a robust way while still trying to manage those constraints mm. and, and it puts pressures on every part of the system. Barbara sheets are usually the only way to access income. And this often results in a sort of mercenary approach to, to, to barbara sheets. Where is the money? Yes, come on, let's go and do the barbara sheet. I'm going to ask the University of London, 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 I'm going to ask the University of London. So once again, thank you very much. 24 years later, uh, Appreciation and I uh, jointly edited this book, which came out of the British Academy of South Asian Partnership Project. And there's also been a discussion um, in general about ethical, how ethical codes developed in the North travel to the South. And implicit here is uh, a problematization of implementation due to it being in the South. But clearly, we need a larger discussion on ethics before the projects begin. One of the things I'm very conscious of is I'm seeing a lot of colleagues who've never worked outside of the global North suddenly trying to get these to the party. What we're seeing in terms of those who do internal reviews of those funding bids is an absolute disregard of questions of language, of power, of ethics. Little did I appreciate actually how big an ask that was to summarise the richness of all the, all the contributions that we've heard this afternoon. I've, um, I've certainly learned a huge amount myself. Uh, just this morning I was reading that uh, some of the biggest employers now uh, triage applications. Which is attracting a lot of uh, researchers from America, from Europe, and also we have developed a human so. And so what we really want is some sort of systems change. But in terms of trying to facilitate and understand each other's perspectives in all of this role, it's just that those voices were not being heard. And I like the fact that SOAS is able to have these slightly difficult conversations because Actually, if we take this agenda seriously, I think it is difficult. 